Today's lesson is lesson 82 on page 171. So the tableware that we use during communion. The, so there are many different styles for communion ware. Most of them are made of silver. However, there are some that are made of gold. The originals used at the Lord's First Supper were probably made from some sort of pottery or clay, which was very common in the day. And this little diagram just shows us what we use at communion and what everything is used for or and how it is used. So let's start with this little tin right here. So I'm going to circle it for you guys and you can go ahead and circle yours also as we go through them. So this tin right here, that one is called a ciborium and it's a lidded chalice that holds extra bread or wafers. So chalice just means it's another cup that has a lid on top that holds extra bread or the little communion wafers we get. Then we have this big item right here. This is the one that I normally notice during the most during communion, especially if it's used to refill the chalice. So this one's called a flagon, which is the pitcher that supplies more wine. So this is where we keep the extra bread, and this is where we keep the extra wine if we need it. Then we have what's called a chalice right here. So go ahead and circle your chalice. And that is just the communion cup. So it's a long-stemmed cup that holds wine. Some people think it's gross to use this, because everybody drinks from the same cup. But really it's made so that it's not supposed to share other people's germs and the pastor will wipe it off. So I know every so often if I have lipstick on, uh, when I was in confirmation, pastor would say, wipe your lipstick off before you go up for communion. Just joking with us because he would have to wipe off the lipstick and before the next person and you said then my rag gets all dirty so here's every time I go up I think hmm do I have anything on my lips nope guess I'm not going to make pastor work too hard on cleaning the chalice this time uh, this plate right here is called the patten and that's the pet plate which distributes the bread so this is the plate that holds the communion wafers and it's the one that pastor will take from. So he will restock this plate with the communion wafers that are in here. And then we have what's known as the host box. Oh, you can circle this one since we talked about it. A host box. So that's a container that is used to hold bread instead of the cerebrum. So if you don't have this, you might have the host bread box or some people have both doesn't matter um, at this time when we're not getting together for communion we have what's called portable communion sets and actually this is kind of cool I went up to worms a couple weeks ago for communion because I hadn't had it since the shutdown that closed down all the churches and I had never seen it so it has just a really, really tiny plate. It looks like a miniature one of these that kind of can fit in the palm of your hand that he will put some of the communion wafers on. This just contains the blood, the wine. And then these are just the little communion cups, the little plastic ones that you can fill and then give it to people individually so instead of having all of this they just bring this and you can have communion where you are i'm sure shut-ins probably see this quite often and then it has luther's rose inside of it and then we have the bur the words to remember from first corinthians chapter 11 verse 25 so in the same way also he took the cup after supper saying this is the cup and this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me so he's just saying every time you have communion remember him so all of this is to help us commune and remember christ <laughs> 